All right, I'm going to show you how Acts chapter 2 just totally destroys the polytheistic pagan Catholic Trinity and how it affirms the biblical Godhead. So I'm going to show you Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, and I'm going to <clears throat> compare Scripture with Scripture. So Matthew 28, 19 is sometimes the verse Trinitarians will go to to prove the Godhead. It says, go ye, or to prove their, their uh, pagan polytheistic trinity, which they think is the Godhead. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So they'll say, see, look, you have to baptize them in all three quote unquote persons. Well, two problems. It doesn't say that in the verse, persons. Second of all, um, compare Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to Acts chapter two, verse 36, 38. I'm gonna show you that because this proves, if you compare scripture with scripture, it actually affirms that Jesus Christ is fully, like the fullness, all the Godhead dwells in him. I'm going to show you that. Acts chapter uh, 2 verse 36. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye crucified, both Lord and Christ. Verse 37. Now when ye have heard this, I'm sorry, I'm not good at reading on a computer. They were picked up in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? But look at verse 38. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Huh. Wait, baptized in the name of Jesus? Because these Trinitarians will say, Jesus only baptism, baptism is false. He baptized in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Um, why does Acts 2.38 say baptize them in the name of Jesus Christ? It just says Jesus Christ. It doesn't say in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hmm. Kind of a problem there. You know what this shows? This shows, in Matthew, like in Matthew 28, 19, when it says baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, if you compare it to Acts 2, 38, it proves that all parts of the Godhead were in Jesus Christ as he was on earth. That's how it works. Because in Acts 2, 38, they just said be baptized in the name of Jesus. But, and they'll say, well, you know, atheists will say, well, it contradicts Matthew 28. No, it doesn't. It actually affirms the biblical Godhead. It affirms that Jesus Christ, the fullness, all the Godhead dwells in him. It proves that. You know, and it says you show us the gift of the Holy Ghost. So I just wanted to show you that. It's very, very interesting. How Matthew twenty eight and Acts two uh, Acts chapter two verse thirty six thirty eight, if you compare it together, they affirm the biblical Godhead. They affirm that the full all the Godhead, Jesus Christ, is fully like fully God within himself. It's very, very interesting. It totally destroys the pagan polytheistic Roman Catholic trinity that they just got from Roman paganism. It's crazy. It's really, really, I mean, you want, I mean, you want to make a big problem for the trinity. If a trinitarian ever comes to you and says, we believe in the trinity, just show him that. Show him Matthew 28, verse 19, and compare it to Acts 2, 38, or 2, 36, 38, and, you know, how do you answer that? They're being baptized in the name of Jesus, but then in Matthew 28, they're baptized in all three, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. How does that work? Because Jesus Christ is fully God within himself. So I just wanted to show you that. It was very, very interesting. Totally destroys the pagan Catholic trinity. God bless you. Goodbye.